This is the Confectioner's Glaze, which is part of the Nicholas Lodge collection. So Confectioner's Glaze is a food grade shellac, which we use for several different applications. So first of all, when you buy this, it comes in a little bottle, and then it also has a little brush. So the brush is just taped to the side of this, so you can just tape the tape off. And then you're going to carefully take off the lid. Now this lid has got a seal on it, so when we ship these, then obviously it's not going to leak, all right? And this lid you basically don't need again, unless you want to obviously put it on um, for storage. We do have a little glaze holder, so this is really what we recommend because this will keep this stable on the table and stops any problem with it falling over. And you see then the little brush would then be put into here and then this would be screwed together, so this is how you would keep this for use. Now, first of all, when we use confectioner's glaze, I use confectioner's glaze for several things. So first of all, we use it to make things shiny. So for example, here on these beautiful fall berries, you know, when we do things like blackberries, fall berries, when we do things like holly berries, so especially on berries, we use this. You can also use this to make uh, things shiny like eyes. Um, so when we use this product, I generally recommend just work on a piece of uh, like parchment paper or wax paper or a napkin. And literally you're just going to just take the bottle, just use the edge of the bottle here, and you're just going to just brush this over the top like this. And this is very, very convenient because this you can then just use the little brush and then the little brush will go straight back into here. Now something I do recommend to my students, if you use a little bit of vegetable shortening or even a little Vaseline, which is actually the best option, a little Vaseline rubbed on the top of the bottle here, that would just stop any worry about the bottle getting gummed because Naturally, the glaze can run down here, so if you use a lot of glaze, you sometimes find the lid gets a little gummed up, but even running it under warm water for a couple of you know, seconds will relieve that any problems. But you just put the lid back onto here, and you see this will then give your, um, as I said, your berry this nice shine. So we would use that for fall berries. I also use this, so again, in my craftsy class, in my uh, class, uh, the lilies class, I use this for applying sugar and also for pollen for flower centers. So for example, when you're using, um, for example, a calla lily, we would brush this with the full strength glaze over the top two thirds of the calla lily. This is a small calla lily here, and I have here sand in sugar. So this is sandy sugar we use, and this is, works much, much better than using egg white to apply sugar to calla leaves for the textural part of the spadix or the spadix, which is the center part. So we use it for applying sugar. And then lastly, we use this to apply pollen. Uh, this is the Nicholas Lodge Easy Pollen Yellow. Uh, this comes also in brown and also in black. And uh, so this is actually what we use for to create realistic pollen. So when we're doing a lot of different flowers, we use this in classes. So here I have some little stamens, but obviously if you were doing say like a black poppy or an anemone, you could use black here, but you're just gonna put just a little bit of the glaze onto the tips of the stamens here. And then you see then this will just go into the easy pollen here to give you this very realistic looking pollen onto the stamens. Uh, for your flower center. It gives you that fuzzy, natural look of pollen. So this is the confectioner's glaze. So it has many uses in flower making, but also as I said in figure modeling for making things shiny. Um, and the brush applicator makes it very, very easy and convenient to use.